My style on stage is very different than what I wear on a daily basis. Can't help it, girl, can't help it. Oh, Today, you know, for the cover with Fergie, we just kept the hair very natural, kind of uh, a little wave and just a little wind in there, just something very natural and simple. I love being on the red carpet and wearing a gown. Then again, I also love just a casual look. I really have fun picking out what I'm going to wear. It's a, it's a creative thing for me. You know, I live on the road. For me, picking out an outfit every day represents how I'm feeling that day and makes me feel more normal in a life that's, that's abnormal. making her look like a kind of Rita Hayworth sort of inspired 1940s pinup. It was just also nice to see from the cover that soft and very loose wave and getting to something completely sophisticated inside. The 40s has been a bit of a trend the last, you know, two seasons. We've been seeing a lot of different versions of it. I definitely love the dramatic red lips. The modern contemporary way of doing a red lip is to keep the eye makeup to an absolute minimum or nothing at all and just curl your eyelashes and put a tiny bit of cream blusher on. You know, the wave of the hair. We just kept the hair very natural. It's just a very, very sexy and feminine look. It kind of went from a day feel for the cover to a very uh, retro night feel. The mix of the whole thing felt like it was right for Fergie. Gorgeous. So it's about, you know, trying to really make it your own, you know, adapting it with your style. We're walking into the next look now, and I'm going to be draped on this chair. It's very sexy. It was retro, so I feel it made it tasteful. It was a wonderful shoot. So I loved you.